a pretty special swell, eh? I don't, I don't think we'll see something like that for a long time again. <laughs> the first day I didn't get any waves, but I spent like four hours out there. Yeah, I got caught inside a couple times on the big day. I only had a nano and I just didn't have enough paddle power to catch the waves that I wanted. And then eventually I got unlucky and got caught inside by one and just completely mangled. I was actually squashed on the bottom with my vest inflated. <laughs> so the vest inflated and the wave was still squashing me on the bottom and I could feel the vest fighting. And that's when you know you're like just on the bottom. Eventually I just, I, mean, I was able to push off the bottom, you know, and then the vest engages and it brought me to the surface. Today the Nano was perfect, it was just perfect size, everything came together. I had a barrel this morning that uh, would have been the barrel of my life if I'd made it. And I just remember the view from there because I relaxed halfway through and just stood up in the barrel. And it was just like this perfect, you know, pop. Like perfectly round, sphere pop. Just looking out of it, spat so hard I got blown off my board. That's the view you dream of, eh? you only get a couple of those in, in your surfing career, so... Yeah, that's my fondest memory of the swell for sure. You know, it all came together and I got a couple of really nice barrels. So. All in all, it was a pretty special swell, eh? I don't think we'll see something like that for a long time again. Good job, bro.